Hi, I'm Ashley, the monogram mompreneur, and in today's video is just a quick tip um, for this upcoming winter and holiday season. I just wanted to give you a tip about plush items, Sherpas, stockings, blankets, towels, um, to make sure you knew what a knockdown stitch is. Um, so if you don't know, a knock, so let me give you an example. So I was going to try to film a stocking tutorial today, and I got the world's fluffiest um, stockings from Hobby Lobby. So as you can see, this was just stitching with um, just water soluble stabilizer, no knockdown stitch. And you can't really see the thing. Um, it's completely almost hidden. You can't really make it out. Um, and I don't think your customers would be happy with that. Next you have, this was just a prototype. I got a little frustrated. So I was like, I'm just going to show them what a knockdown stitch is. So this is a knockdown stitch. Okay? So this is a rectangular box. It's almost like um, almost like a net of stitches, ignore this part up here, um, that catches the fur and like pushes it down so that way you have a nice clean surface to embroider on. Now this obviously is a rectangle, um, so it kind of highlights how this um, stocking is a little wonky. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you the example of how different a knockdown stitch versus a regular stitch which is water soluble. Again, and you can see I didn't have water soluble on these and I put it on this one to show the difference and it's definitely a difference. Um, but I just wanted to show you that again and that in Brilliance um, Enthusiast, if you have in Brilliance Enthusiast, it has a function where it will do a knockdown stitch behind the letter so you won't have a big square It'll just be behind the font or monogram, which I think is such a cool feature. So I'll link that below. Um, but I just used a rectangle from Applique Market. It's, they have circles, they have squares, they have rectangles. And I think the Brilliance Enthusiast, where you can do the behind the actual font, would be a lot better. But the rectangle um, and the shapes come into play um, if you don't have that. So I just wanted to give you a quick tip on when you're embroidering fuzzy, um, fluffy things to utilize a knockdown stitch because it really does make a difference in your stitch out. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure you hit subscribe. We would love to have you here. We've got lots of great tutorials coming up so you're not going to want to miss out. And please make sure you give me a thumbs up. It helps me so much. It lets YouTube know that you like my video and shows it to more people. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.